PlayStation is not going to be attending E3 2019. According to an article via Game Informer, it appears that PlayStation will not be holding any kind of press conference around E3, and that also includes any kind of external conference in the same way that Electronic Arts has held one over the past couple of years. Now, a company statement was given to Game Informer, and it reads, quote, as the industry evolves, Sony Interactive Entertainment continues to look for inventive opportunities to engage the community. PlayStation fans mean the world to us, and we always want to innovate, think differently, and experiment with new ways to delight gamers. As a result, we have decided not to participate in E3 in 2019. We are exploring new and familiar ways to engage our community in 2019 and can't wait to share our plans with you. The article goes on to say, when asked if Sony would push its event off-site, similar to how Electronic Arts provides a show adjacent to E3, PlayStation Senior Vice President of Communications Jennifer Clark elaborated further, saying, quote, we will not activate or hold a press conference around E3. I am among many who thought that E3 2019 would be placed PlayStation's time to shine because they canceled the PlayStation experience for 2018, which is of course a large PlayStation-centric event where the company would normally show off a lot of their stuff, but they canceled that one for 2018. And so now with the cancellation in E3 2019, what could Sony possibly be planning, especially with the impending launch of the PlayStation 5, or at least the impending announcement? So why is PlayStation bailing on the E3 conference for the first time in the conference's history? And I think that can be chalked up to a couple of different variables. I think one big variable here is actually the success of Nintendo because Nintendo doesn't necessarily hold any kind of main stage conference at E3 and they haven't for many years now and so with the success of Nintendo of course mainly fueled by the Nintendo Switch you still have this proof that you don't necessarily have to have a press conference to be successful in 2018 the internet is a fantastic tool for avoiding any kind of human interaction I love it for that. And I would say another big variable that might even be the biggest variable here is that E3 itself has changed in meaning. Now, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, E3 was a foundational part of the gaming industry. It's where developers, publishers, and gaming industry professionals all met to show off what they had all been working on over the course of the past year. And that is something that was incredibly important back then where not everybody was on the internet. And if you were, it's not in the same way that you were on the internet in 2018. The press people would meet with the developers and publishers and therefore be able to get some hands-on time with the game and also some hands-on time with the developers and the people behind the games and perhaps go ahead and drum up some hype within their reader fan base. And so that was an incredibly important part of the industry back then, but now with the internet and all of the tools that come along with it, do we really need a conference where the main reason behind the conference is for the press to meet with all these big industry professionals? You could argue for it, you could argue against it. In my opinion, you don't really need it. Now don't get me wrong, E3 is not going anywhere because of the power of the name E3. Many people outside of the gaming culture know what E3 is because that's the one time of year where the video game industry really does get the spotlight on a lot of major publications. Now a couple of years back, whenever E3 was opened back up to the public, that's when we began to see a shift because up until then, it had been somewhat of a closed off trade show. It's where industry insiders could go in and convert and collaborate and things along those lines. But now with it being opened back up to the public, it's clear that E3 is beginning to shift from a trade show primarily to more of a fan conference. The question remains, what is the future of E3? How is the conference going to continue to evolve? Of course, with the absence of PlayStation in 2019, does that mean that Xbox might pull their show from the lineup in 2020, or are they going to remain on board? It all depends on how this does shake out for PlayStation. Is it going to help? Is it going to hinder? What exactly is going to happen? And I suppose we will see when June rolls around of 2019, and of course, what happens after that. To close out this entire video, what is going to be happening to E3 in the next five to 10 years? Personally, if I had to guess, I would say that it's going to begin to trend more towards this fan show kind of experience where people do happen to meet up, share a love of gaming, and developers can choose to show up if they so choose. But it's not going to be quite as important as it has been in the past. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you believe that E3 is a very important and foundational part of the gaming industry and always will be? Or do you think we could go without this entire conference series altogether? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you do happen to be new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week. And on top of that, I have a live gaming news podcast over on twitch.tv slash Samuel Adams Live. If you did want to check that out, it's always a good time. And it happens five days a week at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. But as for right now, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the night. I will talk to you soon. Peace.